What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, hello again. <laughs> and thank you to all my new subscribers. I just wanna say thank you to all the people who downloaded my drum kit. Um, I know a few people have downloaded that and they have actually told me good things about it so I'm glad that you guys are enjoying my first kit. Uh, speaking of other things that I'm working on, I'm working on another beat tape at the moment. Not too sure when that one will be released but yeah that's in the works. Um, yeah so good things to come. In this video I thought I'd do a little bit something a little bit different and um, just choose some like just choose a random sample in my sample collection but I've got hundreds of of samples that I've saved over the years when I hear something good I record the whole sample in and then um, yeah they sort of just sit on my hard drive already recorded and ready to go so that will save some time as well so I'm gonna pick something at random and I gotta flip whatever's in there so it could be a challenge or it could be really easy so I'm hoping for the best <laughs> so with that said let's go straight to the studio and cook up I need a haircut. Next time you see me in my next video, I'll probably have a haircut. I just shave it off. <laughs> Let's build a drum track. I like the snare that Mirage Beats has. Um, this one right here, snare four. I like that. I think I'm feeling about an 88 BPM today. When you guys build your drum tracks, do you fuck with the sample first or do you fuck with the drums first? I've always just done drums first and then like change it later if, if, I, if I need to. Everyone does it differently, you know? So what I like to do is, as well as adjusting the swing here, I like to come in to the drum pattern and the piano roll. Give it, give it some of these. Drag that first kick down, give it some more flavor and then change this one up so that this one is like directly behind that one like that's super quick and then do the same for this one and then on this one nudge it over maybe one and that that gives it even more feel to it Control B that over, and that gives it more of like a humanistic feel to it. Might actually nudge the snare forward a little bit as well. Go, f come into here and pull that down. Pull the feet up. Pull the time shift up. Feeling like I need it needs an open hat. Got this little shaker here from Mirage Beats drum kit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it behind the snare and then I'm gonna shorten the the tail on it so it's just sort of like less shaky. Yeah, that one. Then I'm gonna grab this from this drum kit. This is just a uh, free one that I got not long ago. Well, I got it ages ago actually, but I can't remember where I got it from. But it's got this uh, cool, like within the hats and rides, it's got this one called brush and a lot of the time I put that I, I, I layer that with the snare and it gives it more character and texture but I think I'm just gonna put it on every one so it's not too predictable yeah I think it needs another um, hi-hat Do this, do this, 
to uh, shift over once. Maybe that's too swingy. No, that's about right. So, let's pick a sample at random. And remember, I've got to use whatever I pick. Pull up Serato. I'm such a Serato sample convert now. Like, it's exclusively what I use. If you use different things, like, you can come up with, like, different types of vibes and like just different things depending on what you use and how you relate to that plugin yeah slice x slice x is good but serato mm. okay so pull up my samples here as you can tell i've got a lot hundreds of samples probably say yeah i got more than a thousand samples so i'm gonna pick one at random here uh, let's go this one it's called Meiko Kaji Watashi no Tehito. Sounds best when it is it. Sounds good, man. Let's record that shit. And they fuck. What? They honestly, I'm so excited about those chops. They sound so good. Clone that bad boy over. Create some variation. Draw this one in just because I want to remember it. As you can see, I'm just drawing in the notes, and that's okay to do sometimes too, whatever works for you. I might leave that one, that second variation, in there just for now. Um, it's sounding okay. Um, I can always just. I can always just change it later, you know. Okay, I might try to add a bass line now. Let's just try that one. That one's tuned to B, so we shall tune it to B in the piano roll. by channel oh god I okay I think we're done um, I'm really um, considering I, I picked something at random I think I, I did pretty well and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky that the, that the sample wasn't complete trash. Um, it was actually pretty good. Um, if I spend some more time on this beat, I think it could come out really good. So yeah, um, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the beat. And thanks again to all my new subscribers. We're almost at 200 subscribers now, and that's amazing. I never thought I would even, even get that far this quick. So I have you guys to thank for that. So. Yeah, I'll play you out with the beat, and until next time, peace.